blessings blessings to blessings. you guys god bless you all yes god is good yo we are back with another video concerning marriage yes what helped our marriage yes we don't know about anybody else's but what helped our marriage yeah we would like to you know use it give advice people to people that it helped you know yeah. we do see comments and y'all are very encouraging where it said you know, it's helping you. Even if you're living a single life right now and yeah. you're preparing for marriage, yeah. you know, we're just doing the best that we can. Yeah. yeah. Cause you never can tell, you know, this life, anything can happen at a time. Yeah. Yeah? And you see yourself in a particular relationship that you, you never wish or never want to be in. So when you get in there, okay, this is how you, you can be able to handle it. Right. But to be honest with you, it has to start from you because mm -hmm. sometimes we want people to change yeah. but not knowing that we ourselves have to change so that others will see us then they will change but when we begin to trying to push them so hard you gotta change you know it's, it's you you go into hell you're doing this it will affect a lot of people's mind but when we begin to change in order to accommodate, in order to embrace a lot of things, it will help so many people. It's like compromise. Yes, yeah. we have to compromise mm -hmm. in relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this issue is going to uh, be uh, us talking about how how we first uh, get in, in, a, in, like when I, I get to America, you know, being around my kids as a yeah. stepdad, you yes. know, but uh I don't say stepdad. I don't call right, it stepdad. Right. But at, at least you don't know exactly uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, me and my husband and a lot of other families don't believe in that step yes. child, step father, step yeah. mother type of word. You know, so we try not to do it here. Yeah, because what yeah. what you need to put in your head is this: if you go out there to adopt, are you gonna? constantly calling that baby adopted, my, child. Uh, adopted on my step or like what are you going to be calling so right. you, even the bible made it very clear made a plan you are tired right. you are kid so that's how it's supposed to be there is nothing like step i know i wish it was never a word yeah okay so i know some people are saying well this don't have nothing to do with me well you don't know who you're going to meet if you're single yeah. right now you yeah. don't know who you're going to meet or, that, who, or who who will run into you asking for advice? Right, something like this can. You be never a help. know who your next spouse will be. They probably will have a child. Okay. Yeah. So you never know who you're gonna fall in love with. So, um, all right, yeah, like my husband said, you can give someone else the advice. Yeah. Because you heard it from somebody. Yeah. And to be honest with you, that's what helped me, and um, and our marriage concerning our children. Yeah. Okay. Um, because I was around a couple where they, you know, he had kids and she had kids and, you know, the kids that lived in with them was ma majority of her kids and, uh, they fought a lot. They fought a lot. She was defending her children. He was trying to tell her, you know, some truth. She didn't believe it. She stuck up for the kids. And it ended up being, it ended up causing them a divorce. The divorce wasn't about finances. The divorce wasn't about cheating. It was about they didn't get along because of the kids' situation. And um, I was about, I would say, maybe 19 to 20 years old when I seen it happen. And I remember looking at that relationship and hearing the bad news of their relationship breaking because of that, because I just thought they were a cute couple. I thought that he really loved his wife. I seen that um, in him. And to be honest with you, I was more on his side. You know, I don't know why during the time I was on his side. And I felt like that was the worst way to get a divorce. Yeah. You know, my husband say this all the time. Uh, when we do give advice to people, your kids are going to grow up and they're going to get married and they're going to really kind of forget about you. 
not all the way. You still mother, but they're going to marry and have their own children. Yeah. And you're going to be stuck here single because of a kid situation. So um, I told myself, if that ever happened to me, because I knew it was because I had two kids already when I seen them. So I had two kids. So I wanted to get married. I wanted to have another relationship, you know? So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to be in this situation one day. So I need to learn from their mistakes and do better on my end. Yeah. And it ended up happening. Me and my husband uh, got into a relationship, got married. And uh, I'm going to tell you this, since I seen that situation happen to that couple, I, I talked to my husband, uh, you know, about it. I was like, how would you feel? How would you feel when, how will you feel when you come to America and you have these children, you know, are you going to be okay? Are you, you know, you, you got to have that conversation going in because your children, you know, should be your number one, right? So you got to have that conversation with your spouse and y'all got to have some understanding. And I told my husband straight up, you can discipline them. You can do whatever you want to. You are, they're going to, you, you're going to be their father. Because if I didn't want my husband in my life, if I didn't want him in my life, he wasn't going to father my children. But since I wanted him in my life, I wanted him to take the role of a father. So why would I, I don't understand. That's what I don't understand in some women. They want to get married to their, to their uh, new husband, right? But then, oh, don't, don't parent the children. Yeah. That don't make any sense to me. When you're in a relationship like this, you have children already. You should see him as a husband and a father automatically, you know? And I know that some men are not ready for that, but you need to know, you need to let him know straight up, hey, this is, this is what it's going to be. So you got to make a decision. Yeah, the most important thing is getting your wife part of how she understand the relationship. Yeah. You know, how does she feel and want the relationship? Because listening to her all the time constantly, you know, her communications and conversation will always tell you because you, there is something that you don't hide, the feelings. You don't hide those feelings. So when... She always want to put the children first ahead of you all the time. So you're going to know that there must be an issue. You're, you already know you're in a, a good relationship, dating, you know, like getting so serious. And she constantly brings that up, you know, like trying to, hey, like this is the gap. It, mm -hmm. There must be a ser serious issue yeah. but when two of you come greatly in agreement and you openly because when i was in nigeria i was strongly telling my wife i don't do steps step stuff yeah i will be strong father to every one of them and uh, we have to stay in one accord because if we don't they will drive us crazy so when i when i got here then something happened i was able i was forcing you know stuff like that then i i I used that time to see where my wife was stunned. Then I realized that my wife is fully for, for me. So that shows me that my wife really want me to help, not just to be uh, a stepfather, but to fully be a father. So she was the one that opened the door for me so that I will feel, okay, this is your duty mm -hmm. as a father. So, if she didn't do that, it would have been a very terrible situation for me, you know, because I would be like, oh, babe, which side are you on? You know, yeah. then I would be like, okay, am I married to you? And at the same time, you're married to our kids. Yeah. So uh, that can drive me crazy. But she opened up so much mm -hmm. for me to really be the father. And that helped a lot. And our children at that time was really frustrated with my wife. Like come on, like, what's going on here? You know, they're trying to protect you. They're trying to defend you. So I'm like, you are not defending my wife. <laughs> yeah. This is my wife. I, I just want you to get the, the point. So yeah. I was trying to, like, give them the understanding of all this. 
I told him, I said, time is going to come. You're going to get married and stay in a relationship and leave this house. Who is going to remain? Me and my wife. So we want to let you guys know that we are strongly together. None of you guys can ever break us up. You, you must have that in mind and knowing that God has ordained the marriage. Because if you don't see that God is involved in the marriage, you can just easily get frustrated and allow mm -hmm. the keys to come in between you guys and you're messed up. Mm -hmm. and, 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 not, and secondly, whenever the husband or the wife is forcing to the kids, don't defend in front of them. Don't stand mm -hmm. in front of them. Allow the whole thing. Even if your husband or your wife is at fault, use wisdom so that the children will see that there is a respect on that yeah. atmosphere. The, 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 husband, the husband or the wife want them to see the respect. Mm -hmm. Then they can, uh, husband and wife can go inside the room. So many times I did that and my yeah. wife uh, take me inside and be like, hey, babe, you know, here's America. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, blah. Then I will be like, okay, I'm a I messed up. You know, I, I, get the, yeah. I get the point. Then I will be like, okay, I have to do it different way. Yeah. Because she respected me not to correct me in their face. Yeah. So then she brought me in and talk to me, then I have to call the case, apologize, you know, mm -hmm. then we move on. Uh, you know, it's a lot. Y'all, all we can do is be honest and raw with y'all. That's all we can do, because yeah. if we just be honest with y'all, it'll help some people. Yeah. I wasn't perfect all the time. You know, I really wasn't, because our cultures were different, and th some things would upset uh, my husband, which I didn't understand, because, you know, um, the children give so much respect to their children. I mean, the children give so much respect to their parents in Nigeria, meaning yeah. that like, as soon as the father come in the door, you have to greet him. You have to say hello. Our kids in America hardly do that. Yeah. They hardly do that. You know, and so he would he he would thought he thought it was a disrespect, so he'd get on to him. You know, it was Sometimes I made mistakes, you know, I probably was like, wait, what are you talking about? You know, uh, but um, majority of the time, yeah, we did. We did go in a room. We silently talked about it. I tried to explain to him is a little different. That's the thing about different cultures, yeah. especially when somebody's coming from another country. Yeah. And into this American situation, the kids are different. So it's a lot going on with your spouse if you if you want to understand that yeah so now you gotta be like you don't want to be put in the middle like the mother is being put in the middle between the kids and the, the father yeah you know so you over here like oh my god i don't know which way to go you know but you have to go on your husband's side you can't let your kids know because then they start disrespecting him yes you know what i'm saying um but uh he's also he was also very patient and I know he was a lot frustrated as well. Yeah. You know, um, we also have to understand that kids <laughs> play games. Yeah. What do I mean by this is that they would do things behind your back, you know, as a, like if you were the mother of the kids, right. And then the, the, the step parent come in, we don't have to say step parent for now yeah. to give a good explanation. Yeah. The kids can be treating him like trash, you know, when the mother don't even know what's going on. Yeah. It's not even around. And then he trying to explain. And then the kids usually, we know the kids don't act like that. They don't act like that. They don't act like, I've never heard them act like that before. But I knew he wasn't lying, you know. Um, and then it, I was like, it was a lot of confusion going on with me as well, you know. But the Lord, if you could just pray and ask the Lord to help you and guide you, the yeah. Lord started showing me in dreams of the disrespect that some kids were doing, you know, behind, you know, behind my back, you know. So I started, the Lord was helping me a lot, you know, but it, it can get so frustrating um, in so many, um, you know, families. It can yeah. get frustrating because yeah. you wouldn't think your kid did that and then... <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't know who to take up for because you still still getting to know who your husband is when you're living with him. Because yeah. you can be in a relationship with somebody all day, but when you move in with them, it's a whole nother situation. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I, I remember, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when our our older uh, oldest son, you know, he I think uh, he him and. Tony and Queen, they did something. <laughs> I was so frustrated. I couldn't beat them or whoop them or <laughs> do anything. You know, come on, I, I, I think I was just a year plus <laughs> or maybe some months in, in America. So uh, a lot of American thing, uh, African things, how to discipline is still in my head so strongly. So at some point I was so frustrated. I was like, I just want to give them the point. I told them, hey. No matter what you do, I will never leave my wife. I will take my wife yeah. <laughs> far away. I will. You see, you think okay, your your mom, right? Your mom, right? I will take her somewhere that you will never see us again. <laughs> he would say that because I, I I I, I try to let them know I'm not gonna divorce my wife because of you. Yeah. Then later on in the future, you're enjoying your life. Yeah. You know, you will be with your sp- spouse. Because the reason why I learned that way is this. When my father was dying, he was crying so much concerning his children. I was 11 years old mm-hmm. and I was the second son, second kid. And we got my siblings so little. My, he was dying, crying. High blood pressure really killed him over us, right? Because he, 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 he wanted us to leave. Then... I saw all that, and now we are grown, living our life. Even, uh, uh, you know, uh, you see a lot of your siblings disrespecting your mother that was taking care of the husband while the husband was in the hospital. So I I witnessed all that. So I I, I told myself, I will not, in any relationship that I will be in, I will never allow our kids to stop us from really enjoying ourselves. So I came in this relationship with that motive that nothing can stop me and my wife in enjoying our marriage and our life in our life too. <laughs> so I was so strong on that mindset and I said nobody I don't care who is that any of our children, any of our kids will never separate us. He said that all the all, time. And they had it all Ooh, the time. All the time. <laughs> and I know our sons and our, our children will be watching this, definitely. And uh, it's totally different now. And Antonio, he constantly apologizes for <laughs> how he, he treated um, his dad. But let me tell you something. They, they're good. And uh, now he... He has his own kids, and he yeah. he's actually married. Congratulations to them. Yeah. And uh, but what happens is is that your children are the children are trying to protect the mother from her. Yeah. And it it kind of it's it's so bad though. It's like come on now. Yeah. You know we all grown here, but that's what happens is that you I, know I, the I, sons or the daughters. Them. Right. Yeah, cause I get I get the point. Right. Cause I I remember when my my mother wanted to get married, I was no, you don't do that. <laughs> it's, you know, so I get the point. You know. Yeah. That was why I wasn't that frustrated about mm-hmm. uh, with them and all that. Cause in my head, I'm like, mm, okay, I see what they're saying, they're what they're doing. To be protective. So yeah. I told them, I said. I will never prove my marriage to nobody. He did do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, my husband had it hard because, first of all, he's Nigerian. Yeah. So, and then he has kids, and the kids weren't even caring if he was Nigerian or not. It's yeah. just like he he got a double whammy on him. Like, I'm not proving to nobody that I really love your 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 uh, love Monique, and I'm not going to prove to anybody that I love your mom. I love her and I'm going to only prove it to myself and God and, yeah. and, and, and to me, you yeah. know, and, um, he said that a lot and I used to smile about it and, and, uh, but, um, yeah, that's all y'all. So it's, it's like, it's, it's kind of like the mother situation or if you're the father who's going through the situation, you kind of be in the middle, you, you saying on the hand, they trying to be protective, but it's irritating. Yeah. And then, you know, your husband is just being who he want to be, just a loving guy, yeah. you know? So, but you definitely, you have to uh, um, encourage your husband to stay strong. Yeah. 
And you also have to tell your children to step back. Yeah. yeah Chill cause, out. Yeah, because it's just a nature. Yeah. You know, there's nobody to blame. You really, you know, because yeah. this is just a normal life. Some people see it as a normal life mm -hmm. until you give them some corrections. That's when they're going to realize, oh, they're about to break some homes or mm -hmm. marriages, you know, and let them, hey, I mean, you know, a woman tell the kids that you are in a safe hand mm -hmm. so they can see the get the picture because your husband is the only one that can protect you only if your husband is very uh, abusive and all that, then your kids can be able to help. But in some situations, like the, when I came in, I came in with all my heart. Yeah. And I, I promised God that I would do all my best to, you know, show them the right way. S you know, talk to them the way I want people to talk to me. Because mm -hmm. growing up, I didn't have anybody that really talked to me, advised me in life. No, I didn't, not even a single one. Uh, but to God be the grower who was able to, you know, kept, kept us as we was growing. And uh, my father died early. That was why I got in family so much. I was really carrying a lot of people in my family. That was why I was able to handle a lot of these situations. Mm -hmm. Uh, and my wife helped me 99% because it would have been so overwhelming for me. But she was right there. So if you can just stay together, don't allow any enemy or anything to just shake you guys. If you are stand tr uh, strong together, the, the children will wake up and be like, oh, there is nothing we can do here. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah. You got yeah, you got to you got to um let the children be the loser in this situation. Yeah. You your marriage yeah. should be the winner, yeah. you know. Um another thing, we already made this type of video before, but I want to stick to this. If you do not agree together, don't do it. Yeah. If you agree together, do it. Yeah. And that's how the same goes with raising these kids, you know. Um I I think that, um, you know, if they're especially if they're especially really, really young, you know, you know, always inform your children, you know, respect him, you know, you're going to respect me, uh, him or her, him or her, him and her. Both, everybody need to be yeah. respected and everybody needs to have conversations. You know, I remember where, uh, when my husband would, you know, take them out to eat without me. You know, like one by one, he'll get to know our sons, get to know our, our daughter and, you know, vice versa. Take them out, have conversation with them because they have to learn one another, you know, especially at a young age. Even if it's older, if you want to do that, do that. Because, you know, older sons out there and, you know, their mothers, you know, they want to get to know who their new father is, who, yeah. new, who, who new dad is, you know. Yeah. Um, but... Another thing I wanted to bring up is that your children, because my husband, way before he met me, he had a he had a daughter. So we have a daughter that's in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, so I'm also a, a, like a stepmother as well. But the whole thing is that you know we didn't raise her in the house. Yeah. So I want to bring this up because sometimes it can it can hurt your feelings because. Your kids are used to their parent. So the love is there. Yeah. They're still trying to love the step parent. Mm -hmm. So your the children are going to give their parent the most attention. Like, you know, my 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 husband's daughter. He she gives, you know, my husband all the attention. You know, although I I'm her mother, but she just give it to him, you know what I'm saying? And then our kids, I mean, well, I would say my kids, my kids on this side, they give me all the attention. They ask me all the questions. They give me all the love, you know? And so don't allow that to hurt your feelings. That yeah. is just a normal thing. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know, because we have both, you know, felt hurt from that. Yeah. You know, let's just be honest here, yeah. you know? Yeah, because that's what I was trying to say earlier. Mm -hmm. Change you. Don't yeah. change them. They will see it from you. Then they can change. Right. Yeah. And so I know a lot of people probably don't don't. Well, I don't. I don't. They don't treat me 
like the parent, you know, they just, you know, it's just they, like my husband said, you just got to do your part yeah. and just let maturity grow later. Yeah. You know, they yeah. understand as they grow. Yeah, at the same time, you know, pay attention because your mindset or your mind can also be messing things up. Mm -hmm. You know, they might not be doing it necessary, like uh, intentional. You know, sometimes Satan will always creep in. Mm -hmm. So we have to just be mindful and uh, just uh, be careful at the same time. I not in our situation, yeah. but I have heard of situations where the kids want their mother to be with their father. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I've heard of situations like that. And you need to set boundaries. Mm -hmm. You need to tell your children if they doing this, that it needs to stop. Or the relationship is going to be different. Yeah. Because that's disrespecting your spouse. That's disrespecting your husband or your wife, you know? So you need to take up for, you need to defend your spouse on that. Hey, don't disrespect my husband. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it will never happen. We're not, you, you, we're not getting back with your father or, or your mother. That's just the way it's going to be. Yeah. And if you keep bringing this up, it's going to be some, uh, some issues going on here that I'm going to have to stop communication with you. Cause you listen, I know people are like, I, I got to talk to my kids, but you got to set some boundaries. You yeah. got to take up for the one that is sleeping with you in the bed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That you want to be with for life. Yeah. So you have to be very, very careful with that. Yeah. Um, I thank God we didn't go through that, but I've heard of situations like that. And kids really know how to be disrespectful. And yeah. I always, you know, when it gets to the situation of what if this, what if this happens to you? You know, what if this happened to you when when you get older? Would you want somebody to do you like that? Would you want me to be in your business when you get married? You know, stay out of my business, period. Yeah. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys. Yes. I hope you enjoy this. We're going to bring more to, of this. And uh, if you have any issue in marriage and uh, you believe that, hey, Henry and Monique can be a help, you know, just send it in. By God's grace, we'll always will try our best to bring something. That would be a help. Yes. And before I end this, I know that you're going to probably disagree with me, a lot of people, but I feel like if you are a person that has kids and you don't want nobody else disciplining your children, I mean, as far as a, a new relationship coming in, you have married, you want to marry this person. If you feel some type of way about them disciplining your children, you know, when they're still in, in elementary, middle school, or even high school. And you know, you know, they would give the right uh, encouragement or the, uh, the right rebuke <laughs> or the right discipline before you marry them. You know, if you have an issue with that, then you don't need to get married. Yeah. Because you're already coming in dysfunction, dysfunctional. So that's just it. If you have an issue with it, don't get married. Yeah. If you you willing to try it out, do it. I have to repeat that. We well, love right. you guys. Remember to share this. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Yes. Bye bye. Bye.